Hi, I'm Marie McConnell with Drive Electric Ohio, and today we're going to take a test drive in the all-electric Chevy Bolt. Let's get started. So you didn't hear an engine rev when we just started up here. Um, this is an all electric, as I said, so that means there's no engine, there's no gasoline, um, there's just an electric motor that you charge by plugging in. Um, Chevy also makes a plug-in hybrid Volt with a V. Um, the difference between a plug-in hybrid and a traditional hybrid that you might be familiar with um, is that plug. So a plug-in hybrid is essentially like having two cars in one. Um, you can just pl charge from plugging in and just run on that electric motor, or you could just use gasoline um, and have that backup, or you can use uh, both at the same time, using it as a hybrid um, for your great fuel efficiency. But like I said, this is the Chevy Bolt with a B, so it is all electric. So one of the really cool things about this car that you can see on this dashboard back here is actually how much power you're drawing at any given time. So on the left, you can see on that, um, dial how many miles we have so we're at a full charge so almost 260 miles and on the right hand side you can see how much power we're actually drawing so right here just sitting a little bit of AC going you know we're drawing a little bit of power um, and when we turn here you'll actually be able to see that um, number go up as we draw more power So as we accelerate, we see it go up 35, 40. And as we start braking, you can actually see it generate more power. So you can see that little regen button go around at the bottom. Um, regenerative braking is one of the things that makes electric vehicles so great for city driving and such great commuter cars. Um, regenerative braking means that every time you, you step on the brake, rather than put brake pad to brake and create a lot of friction to slow your car down, you actually run the electric motor in reverse and you treat it like a generator. So you're able to recapture a lot of that power and actually put it back into the battery. So this vehicle has 260 miles of range on a full charge. Um, so the most common type of charging you'd be doing for this car is level two. Um, level two is 240 volt outlet. Um, that'd be what you would use to have like an electric dryer and electric range. Um, so if you were to install level two um, in your garage and be charging overnight, it would take you about 10 hours to fully charge this car up if you really ran the mileage down to zero. Um, that's pretty uncommon. Most folks are not driving their, their vehicles all the way down. Um, in fact, it's actually recommended that you don't do that. It's better for the battery to just really be replacing what you use and kind of topping off. So rather than filling up your car at the gas station where you're making a special trip to go get fuel, um, you think of driving an electric as just refueling where you're already parked. Cars park spend between 80 and 90% of their time sitting. Um, so that's 80 to 90% of, of your car's time that it could potentially be plugged in. So a lot of people worry that driving electric in a state that gets a lot of their electric power from fossil fuels is not really um, that much more environmentally friendly or, or that much less impactful. Um, but the really good thing about EVs is that there are zero tailpipe emissions. So while yes, there still might be emissions, um, those are happening at power plants, which have significantly um, more regulations on what sort of pollution can come out of them versus your tailpipe. They're also farther away from the communities that we're driving and living in. So one of my personal favorite things about this car is kind of silly, but it's this handbrake. So right there, I just came to a complete stop just using this little brake paddle behind the steering wheel. Electric cars have a lot of really exciting tech and safety features, um, including driver assist technology like adaptive cruise control, uh, lane keep assist, and collision warnings. The Chevy Bolt starts at about $36,000. Um, 
it is no longer eligible for the federal tax credit, um, but a lot of other electric models are. So EVs are a little bit pricier up front. Um, so to help kind of combat some of that, that cost, there is a tax rebate um, eligible for purchases of new EVs. It's up to $7,500 um, in your eligibility for the tax credit is dependent on one, how many vehicles have been sold and two, um, the size of the battery. back at the office and parked. We'll just plug it in. Just like that and it'll be all set to go for the next person to take it out. <laughs> 